Horizon Hobby Ultra Micro Aircraft have always had the kind of performance experts appreciate. Now, with the revolutionary AS3X system, Horizon Hobby gives Ultra Micro Aircraft a sense of precise control and smooth handling so gratifying it's as though you're at the controls of an expertly tuned giant scale model. An industry first, the AS3X system was developed exclusively by Horizon Hobby and is available in three exciting new E-Flight UMX aircraft. The all-new UMX Beast 3D, the fantastic vertical takeoff and landing UMX Hypertaxi, and the authentically replicated UMX GBR2. The AS3X system makes these aircraft so fun to fly that you'll instantly feel like you're a better pilot. Even in moderate wind, they deliver virtually unlimited control and fly smoother and more precisely than you ever thought possible with models of this size. To learn more about the revolutionary AS3X system, let's hear what the Horizon Hobby team behind its development has to say about it. Hi, I'm Mike McConville from Horizon Hobby, and I am here to tell you about something very exciting. It's called AS3X, and it's a system that we've been working on for well over a year. AS3X is essentially a system that enhances flight performance, enhances your controllability of the model, yet damps out all of the negative effects you could have from a model that would tip stall, a design that could be just inherently difficult to fly, um, effects of wind. It is something that's kind of uh, was inspired by systems that we have on board helicopters that stabilize them. We've been able to take some of the base technology and then refine it and tune it to work in, in airplanes, you know, on three axis in airplanes and tuned the way we have it what it does is makes the airplane much more straight, um, very true flying. It, it doesn't bump in wind, yet it doesn't take any controllability away. In fact, you have more controllability. It's not a system that intervenes, that does anything that you're not telling the airplane to do. Um, what it allows us to do we, is, is expand the type of airplane we do from something that we have done before, but we've been able to enhance it and make it fly a lot better to things that we would never dream of doing because they're too difficult to fly or almost impossible to fly. One of the things that, that I think we've always been able to say about ultra micros, and they are, they're just an amazing step forward in RC to be able to make these small things fly at all, a lot of the airplanes, I, I think we would say they fly great for what they are, but with AS3X, we've now taken off that what they are. They just fly great. It really makes these small airplanes fly like, like big airplanes, like giant scale airplanes. Another thing AS3X will do, take something like the Beast, which as you know, the original was an outdoor airplane. It was just too fast. You couldn't fly it slow, comfortably in, indoors in a gymnasium. Um, with AS3X, you can. The airplane is very comfortable now in high alpha in a 3D configuration. Um, so you can actually fly it around comfortably in a gym, do a lot of 3D stuff. Uh, indoors, which was something we never recommended before, but you know it expands the envelope of the airplane that much that it makes it it makes it an indoor airplane, an indoor 3D airplane, and an outdoor airplane in in decent wind. So it's it's really amazing. Also because of AS3X and the way it works, and it makes a lot of very minute, very fast corrections. It damps out all of those wind effects. Um, you fly along, you, the wings don't really move side to side anymore. The airplane just kind of moves around up and down a little bit. AS3X is damping out all of the rest of those effects of turbulence. And one of the real beauties of AS3X is there's nothing you have to do. Completely tuned for you, so you just bind them to your transmitter, go fly. It's really that simple. And one of the great things about AS3X maybe is to say what it isn't. It, and it isn't a system that gets between you and your model. What AX3S does simply is keep the airplane on the path you want it on. It, it doesn't do anything you don't tell it to do. In fact, it gives you a much more connected feel to the airplane and a much more, a much more natural feel. There's nothing, you'll sense nothing except a much straighter flying airplane than you would expect to experience. This technology gives a more connected feel and more natural feel than we ever thought possible. Because of that, with something like the Beast, we can run the CG farther back, give a lot more throw, so we actually have more controllability than we had before with the old Beast, which makes it a 3D airplane. This technology takes out all of the undesired effects of an airplane, so even something like a GB flies straight and true. If not for this technology, the hypertaxi wouldn't even be possible, period. AS3X gives you the big airplane flying experience and the feel of a big airplane in an ultra micro size model. 
I'm uh, Kike Somencini, developer and designer of the UMX Beast uh, 3D. I can tell you about my personal experience during the, the you know all the process developing with the team the AS3X. Before, when I say before, with my other UMX Beast, uh, I will go and fly the airplane. But I always I would be kind of okay. I will see the trees if they move, see the clouds if they move too fast. So always looking at, you know, the wind. So then flying the UMX Beast 3D, I realized that, you know, I, I was not looking much the trees, I was not looking much the clouds in general. I was not so, um, you know, sensitive about the wings. I would just take the airplane and uh, go and fly. At the end, what it did is, I found myself, I'm flying a lot more the airplane than before. Uh, for the wind, that's one reason. The envelope is bigger, so now I feel that with this airplane, I can do more aerobatics and I can have more fun. At the end, you know, the AS3X system, what we'll do for you is, is open that envelope to give you a better feeling about the airplane, but most important is it's fun. It will give you a more fun time. And at the end of the day, that's why we like so much our hobby. And that's why we do it. With AS3X now, you can 3D. Hi, guys. I'm Seth Arnold with Horizon Hobby. I'm a product developer here. For me, AS3X, you know, it, it makes an airplane fun to fly. You know, before you had a certain boundary that, that you're only comfortable flying an airplane in, you know. It doesn't really, you know, make it no boundary at all, but, but it expands that boundary much more. So you're much more comfortable doing, you know, knife edge circles that you hadn't done before or, you know, doing harriers or something that you hadn't done before. With AS3X, you can expand and it allows you to become a better pilot and have much more fun doing it in the process. My name is David Payne. I am a senior product developer for uh, Horizon Hobbies in the Air Division. And we're here today to talk about the little GBR2. It was built to be a very high speed, fast, golden age racer. And it's very, very short coupled. The airplane's not very long. It has a very high center of mass. So it's, it's, it's always been a challenge to land and take off the airplane, much less once it's in the air, it's never been real stable and, and never really kind of a, a go where you point it type of airplane. So, you know, now with AS3X technology, the airplane in the air flies like a pattern plane. It's just amazing what it'll do. You know, there's, there's been a saying in the industry that bigger flies better. I think you can throw that out the window now. So AS3X makes any one of these airplanes fly like they're big airplanes. I know you'll be blown away with the AS3X experience. Hi, I'm David Eichstead, Director of Aircraft Development for Horizon Hobby, and I'm here to talk to you about AS3X technology and how it has impacted at least me personally with my flying skills. For me, around the office, I'm probably the person who has the least amount of piloting skills among all the people we're around. Of course, when you're working in an office with people like Kike Somanzini, Mike McConville, David Ribby, it's pretty easy to, um, to feel somewhat humble in that, in that uh, circle. So when I first flew an AS3X airplane, uh, my first one was the uh, Ultra Micro Beast 3D. And what I found was that I could now do maneuvers that I could never even think of before, most of them involving, involving knife edge, uh, because the AS3X system, once you establish a certain attitude, is going to try to hold that attitude for you. So I found myself doing extended knife edge passes, uh, very long, slow rolls, uh, point rolls that were extended much farther than ever. I also found myself doing some other cool stuff, like uh, a knife edge loop, as well as um, uh, knife edge uh, horizontal eights. Uh, just stuff that without AS3X, I, I have no hope of being able to do because I just don't have the thumbs. But with AS3X, I do. When I'm flying an AS3X airplane, it really gives the feeling of a much larger airplane. That's because of the damping. So in a windy situation, you'll see an airplane equipped with AS3X. It just kind of bumps around like this. You won't see it tipping its wings or, or falling off or getting blown off on a different heading. It just stays nice and true. 
which is really a great feeling because now I don't have to worry about flying ultra micro airplanes in the wind.